Hey guys, happy Memorial Day. So I just wanted to share a little story with you about this day and about my papa. He actually passed away a year and a couple months ago and he's truly missed. And today was a day that my family really celebrated and we haven't celebrated it in about five, six years since before he had Alzheimer's. And I'm, I think I'm saying it right. I always pronounce it like Alzheimer's or something. But anyways, he that's what he died of. And he had it for several years before he died. So he wasn't exactly with it. But anyways, so he was in World War II. So he's a war vet. And he used to lead the parade, the Memorial Day parade, in the town that I was born in, in the town that my mom was raised in. I lived there for a few years. Um, but anyways, it would, they would march around the town, and him and, there was a few other, um, war vets, I can't remember how many of them, I don't remember too many of them, because, you know, they're obviously all old, so not all of them can march for that long, you know, but they'd march around the town, and they'd end up in the cemetery, and they'd shoot off the guns, and they'd say their speeches, and yeah, my papa was the leader, and he... Like, I would just be so proud of him. Like, that's my papa. And you could just see how serious he was. And he he just loved it. Nothing made him happier than that. He loved serving his country. And he was just such a proud old man. <laughs> I loved him. But the reason why he led the parade was because he had... I don't know if I'm saying it right, so don't quote me. But he had the highest rank and honor. Um, he had two pins, well, he had several pins, but two of them were, like, the highest ones you can get, I believe. The, um, Purple Heart and the Bronze Star. I believe I'm saying them wrong. I say them opposite, but they're for bravery and for being injured. I know he got shot, he got shot, like, in the butt somewhere, in the back, um, and he saved one of his men. He saved their life, so he got those medals, and... I didn't even know this until his um, wake. I saw the medals. He must have told me before, because you know how old guys, they love to tell their stories. They're so proud. Back in the old day, yeah, he loved that. But he might have told me, and I probably was too young to really understand. But I'm just so honored to have him as a papa and to for him to be part of my family. And I will forever miss him. And I just wanted to make this video and tell you a bit about my my family and just honor him. And I know he's not going to see this video, but <laughs> I don't know. I just miss him a lot. And this is a very special day to him and to me. And it's hard losing people you love but it gets easier as time goes by but you still have those days where you're just like oh I wish he was here and you just think like oh what if he was still leading that parade like if I was watching that parade go by right now like how awesome it would be but everyone dies I know it's a part of life and it sucks it really sucks like this is the one thing I fear the most and not just me dying but losing people I love there's nothing worse than that feeling like that that feeling like oh my god I will never see them again but it's not true because I will see them again I'll see them up there but yeah so I think that's all I have to say for right now and if anyone else had any um, any war vets or people, family in the army, just comment below, share your story, I'd love to read them. So yeah, this is to my papa. I love you. <laughs> Wherever you are, I love you. And I will never forget you and thank you so much for serving our country. Alright, that completes my vlog. <laughs> Bye.